my name is Brenda Cole. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're starting Mermaid Marathon Day 1. If you guys don't know what Mermaid Marathon, it is hosted by Macy from the Bright Side Girl. And it runs today, June 29th through July 5th. I'm so excited to be participating in this readathon again. And there's seven different prompts. I will link my TBR video down below. And I will link C slash mermaid recommendations videos down below. I also will link Macy down below if you guys want to go check out all her videos because she has a lot more mermaid videos than I do. Let's go over the books that I plan on starting with. So I really haven't been physically reading a lot because I've been having trouble with just actually sitting down and physically reading. I've had a lot going on with work. The dogs have been a little bit more cranky because we haven't been able to go outside as much. So the reason why we haven't been able to go outside is because we had a dust storm that came through Alabama. It came from the Hara Desert. I could be wrong about that. But anyways, we had a dust storm that came through and it's been creating problems with our air quality so you can't go outside as much. I've actually been a little bit like sick with it because it's been bad. So I've been trying to keep the house as clean as possible, but it's been really hard. So that's going to be another major thing that I need to do this week. Also want to tackle my back bedroom because it's become more of like a storage room, which is fine. I need the storage, but it just needs to be cleaned up and organized a little bit more. But before we go into all of that, let's go over the books that I plan to start reading first. But because I am having trouble physically reading a lot, this is the main book that I really want to get to this week. This is Dark Times by J.J. Marshall. This is like the unofficial official book of Mary May Marathon this year. This is a friend of Macy's friend book, and Macy's reading this, so when she told me she was reading it, I decided to read it. But I did do like a 30, around 32, 35 page breakdown every day so I can make sure that I get this done. So the first, today I actually need to read pages like 5 through 36 because it doesn't start on 1. And so I think I can get that done today. So that really helps me when I'm having trouble physically reading. But this week is going to be mainly a lot of audiobooks. Macy is known for her audiobook wrap up. She's known for really loving different audiobooks and narrators. So this is another recommendation from Macy to me. She said to read Daughter of the Pirate King. She really thinks that I'm really going to enjoy this. I was fortunate enough to find the audiobook of this on Scrib. So if you guys want to go over and if you have Scrib or you want to sign up for Scrib, this video is not sponsored by them, but the audiobook is over there. So I do plan on starting the audiobook of Daughter of the Pirate King today. And then we'll just go from else I want to go when I'm done with these. I Again, my TBR video will be linked down below or in the cards for you guys. So, today, since I've already been working for about two hours this morning, it is now currently almost 8 o'clock, and I need to take a little bit of breather. Thankfully, my job is I kind of go at my own pace as long as I get deadlines done in time, and I actually did work Saturday and Sunday, so I had a little bit more leeway this morning than I originally thought I was going to have. So, I've texted my boss. He's off this morning anyways, and he's actually one of my good friends and told him that I think I'm going to get ready once my clothes are dry and I'm going to take the dogs to the dog park for a little bit. There's a dog park on, in a city like down the road from my house and I've never been to this dog park before so this is going to be very interesting to see how this goes. But the girls just need to get out and play. I want to go put them in this penned in area and let them just go play. Now if there's other dogs there too, I'd be so excited because they need some interaction, they need some playtime with some other dogs because they've actually gotten a little bit aggressive to them to each other because they haven't been able to go outside and walk because of the dust storm. <laughs>
Okay guys, I just got back home from the dog park. We went to my mom's for like a moment. That's where the apple scene is from. If you guys saw Dakota and Winter eating apples. But I just want to tell you guys that I'm currently on page 122. So right before chapter 9 of Daughter of the Pirate King. And this audiobook is going super quick. And I am loving this so far. So we're following a main girl who is a princess. She is the daughter of the Pirate King. So her ship gets taken and ends up becoming a prisoner on a pirate ship but even though the pi all the pirates in the ocean have report back to the pirate king there's still you know every pirate's going to do their own thing so i really like that there's a strong very much female lead and she is very i guess feminist in a way because her all her crew on her boat is female mostly because she thinks that females have a bad rap and actually can do very amazing things and then we meet the captain of the ship that's taken her and then we have the second mate who is Ryden and he's very interesting character himself. So anyways, that's as far as I've really gotten into this. I am really liking this so far, but I need to do a little bit of work. So I think I'm going to pop in the audiobook for a little bit longer and see how much more I can get this done. Hey guys, well, I have food on the grill that is cooking. While that's cooking, I want to talk to you guys about Daughter of the Pirate King by Tracy Ledden Seller. I loved this book, guys, so I'm giving it four stars. So today I've been texting Macy from the Bright Side Girl who's running this marathon and talking to her about this because this was a recommendation from her for me to read. And I love this book. It was so good. The main female character is very likable, and I can understand her. And I love the fact that we don't have a trope where the girl finds out, oh, we have all these powers and they have to figure out what to do. I like the fact that we go into this book already pretty much knowing what she can do and what's going on. I like also that the main male character is not a typical masculine main male character. He does have, you know, he is strong and I love that about him, but he can also be soft. I really like that aspect. I like the aspect of the brotherly bond between the main male character and his brother, the captain of the ship. That was really interesting to get to see that a good brotherly bond. I'm probably confusing you guys. I just don't want to give away too much. But there was one twist that I kind of saw coming. I actually texted Macy like the chapter before it was revealed. It's like <laughs> Macy was like, sent me an emoji with the like the zipper over the mouth when it shut tight. And um, I was end up being right. So I did catch on to that. Also, didn't catch on to the twist at the end, towards the end of the book. I didn't see that coming, so that was interesting to see. But yeah, I really love Daughter of the Pirate King by Tracy Levin Seller. And I was telling Macy this morning that I got this from my secondhand bookstore, which is Second and Charles. It's the only secondhand bookstore that I have here in town, other than big box stores. And the pages in the front were kind of sticking together, so I was going through them this morning, and I found out that this is actually a signed copy, if if it's real or not. I don't know. I couldn't really find any of her signatures online, but I didn't really, like, look, look either. But that's really interesting and really exciting to get to find, like, a little gem. So anyways, the only other plans I have for today are to finish up doing dinner, I need to eat, and then take a shower and all that later. I might go on another walk with the girls in a little bit, but we're supposed to have scattered thunderstorms this afternoon, so that might be out of the question. The girls are still like really tired from going to the dog park this morning and playing at my mom's house. Again, the only other reading plans I have, sorry I didn't mean to hit the camera, is to read Dark Tides by J.J. Marshall and I have to read pages 5 through 36. I don't think that will take me long to do. <laughs> and I'm just kind of like mentally done. I read a whole book today and I read 64 pages of Dark Ties. This is a Wicked Fairy Tale by J.J. Marshall and this is very dark. This is adult or new adult. There are sex scenes in it so be aware of that but even though this is a self-published book the writing's a little iffy at moments and some phrases are repeated but other than that i am really enjoying this so far dark tales the main two characters are very much like i'm thinking a hate to love romance it i mean 
It's supposed to be a dark fairy tale, so maybe they don't end up with each other. Maybe they end up killing each other. Who knows? But pretty much you have the prince of the land kingdom and the princess of the sea have to betroth two together and that's all in the synopsis and they much do not like it they are both very much against it um he calls her bitch multiple times and calls her demon and she calls him names it's a lot of like back and forth like that and i don't know if it's been a fun ride so far and um yeah so that's gonna be it for my reading for day one as of right now i might pick up something but it's eight o'clock and i kind of just want to watch some netflix or youtube catch up on some videos and tomorrow i got a busy day so i will probably go to bed soon we're having a really bad thunder and lightning storm come through it's kind of died down now but we're supposed to have another round of it here in a little bit so i'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and see you guys tomorrow